another admission to intensive care, another panic struggle to survive. They must move quickly to stabilise this woman's critical condition. Each breath is a battle. Some of these doctors are Iraqi, some foreign. All have the same goal, to keep these patients alive, all suffering the severest symptoms of coronavirus. This patient arrived in the emergency room having already had symptoms for several days. She arrived in critical condition, as we often see here. They arrive with a high need for oxygen already. This unit is managed by Medicine Sans Frontieres. There are only 51 beds here, now all occupied. Our intensive care has been full for four and a half days. So every time a patient dies or is sent home, another patient arrives within the hour. For the new arrival, only in her 60s, hope evaporates quickly. After an hour of fighting, another soul is lost to COVID-19. Mistrust of the authorities and stigma surrounding the disease causes many patients to wait until it's too late. Only the most severe cases are taken by this particularly efficient unit. In Iraq's hospitals, it is rare to see single rooms and so much medical equipment. Decades of crises and corruption have led to the disintegration of the entire health system. The Iraqi health system is very, very poor. My mother was in another hospital before and she developed kidney failure. They didn't even have the machine to treat her. Here, all families typically come to see their loved ones, but very often without protective equipment, disregarding the risk of contagion. No, 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 no. No, no, I'm not afraid. I stayed here the last two days and the last two nights. My daughters are coming to take over. Suddenly, her husband's life hangs by a thread. A new fight, a new failure, a new broken family. For weeks, the death toll has skyrocketed in Iraq. And yet outside, measures to curb the epidemic are only being lifted.